to my channel. My name is Rose. So today we are going to be learning how to use this power tool behind me, which is the miter saw. So about a few weeks ago, if you haven't seen my video, I did post a video um, installing this tool on its stand. So it's a very easy setup. But before I start using this tool, I definitely want to learn all of the basic features, the functions, all the bells and whistles about this tool and you know the different cuts that it makes because my knowledge of using power tools is very elementary and to ensure that I'm able to operate this properly and safely I want to learn all about the different basic functions and features as I said so come along with me as we learn this tool together okay so I am going to try my best to make sure that I have a stable hand because I don't want to cause any dizziness for those of you watching this video, but please bear with me as I go through all of the safety features and basic functions of this tool. So I am going to start from the front side of the tool. As you can see, I have it installed on its stand already. And like I said, I will link the video above in case you miss that video. So this is the front side of this tool. The first thing I want to point out is of course the 10 inch blade. As you can see here, the clear guard that you can see is the blade guard. And then right next to it, this is the tabletop, the table scale as you can see, Right here is the lever as well as the bottom. So if you press this up, you'll be able to move and change it to different angles, just like so. When you hear a click, that means those are preset angles. So for this miter saw, it usually stops at 45, 30, 22. There's also a 31.6 right there. 30, 22 point, what is that? Point three, the 15 degree angle. When it's on zero, that means it's on a straight cut. And then same thing on the other side. Okay, on both sides of the tool, which is this right here, is the table extension. So there's left and right. And then this right here is more so to lock the table stand. So when this is down, that means it's completely locked because it's installed on this stand. So you just press this down. It's not really part of the tool itself, but I just wanted to show you all. Um, this tool also out of the box comes with a clamp. As you can see, I have it installed right here. So I think that's what I have on that side. Now let's look at the right side of this tool. By the handle, to turn on this tool once it's obviously plugged, this is what you press. And I love how this has additional safety features because when it's plugged, even if you press this, it will not turn on right away. What you need to do is press this black um, switch right here, I hope you can see, at the same time that you're pressing the gray button down and that's when the tool will turn on. This switch right here is to turn on the laser switch. And then let's see, moving on to the back. This one is the, um, oh my gosh, I'm gonna, forget what it's called, but it locks the table, I mean the uh, saw head or the blade head. So I'm gonna show you 
how that works. It's gonna be a bit tricky because I am <laughs> holding the camera, so I may have to put you guys on my stand real quick. All right, so now you guys are on the stand. So to use this switch that I showed you all, which is this right here, you're gonna have to press down the handle, just like so, and at the same time while pressing that down, pulling this switch um, towards you, which releases the blade head, just like so. All right, and let's see what else comes with this tool. Now, this also comes with a dust bag out of the box. Uh, what you see on the back, this lever is for when you're making beveled cuts. So that's why you see another scale right here. That's what that is for. And then just turning around now at the back left side, this is the lock for the sliding uh, head. So I did get, um, I'm gonna put up here the model that I got, but this tool, this miter saw, has an ability to um, cut up to 12 inch uh, board. All right, now continuing on with this tool, it also came with the wrench and that is used for um, when you're changing the blade and it actually goes right there. Going back here again, this switch um, is the lock for the fence, which is this right here. If, you, if I loosen this up, I can move, slide this left to right. So depending on the board and cuts that you make. If you wanna extend that guard, you can definitely extend it whichever way you need it to. And let's see. I feel like honestly, those are all the basic functions of it. Now operating this tool obviously is a completely different story. So prior to operating any power tools, I highly recommend that you read the manual first, learn about, like I said, all of the basic functions, safety features of your power tool before operating. In addition to that, please make sure that you are wearing all of your safety gear, whether it's you know your gloves, the mask, safety glasses, make sure you're wearing all of that, okay? So now we are gonna move on because I do wanna test out this tool, see how it works, and um, see the different cuts that it makes. So as I said, before using any power tools, please make sure you wear all of your safety gear. So I do have my uh, safety glasses protecting my eyes and I have my gloves and typically if I am working on a project where I am going to be doing a lot of cutting I will wear a mask as well because you don't want to be inhaling all of that um, wood dust but just for this purpose we're just only um, testing it out um, just to kind of try out all of those different cuts so I think we're, we're good. Um, before I do that, I do wanna put this down real quick. Um, so the first cut that we are going to make is a straight cut. So this is where it's at right now. The angled is currently at zero. And I'm gonna show you what the straight cut looks like. So a straight cut is simply going to be just cutting it across. So first, I'm gonna put the um, wood down, the one that I'm cutting, and then making sure that I tighten it by using the clamp, so clamping it down. 
And then always be mindful where you're placing your hand. So please follow the guidelines that is on your tool. On my power tool, there's like a little icon with like a hand and it has cross on there along with the line. So what that means is don't ever put your fingers or your hand anywhere past that line just to be safe, okay? So again, my other hand is way far. It's, it's far away from there. And now we are making a straight cut. Also, when you're making a straight cut using the miter uh, saw, best practice is don't ever lift the blade head while the blade is still turning. So just wait for it to completely stop turning before you lift it up. That, that is one of the you know, safety uh, measures and precautions. All right, so a straight cut is simply just a cross cut like so. Now we are going to be trying making an angle cut, which is like this. And I'm just gonna do a simple one and we're gonna make it, uh, I'll test it out on this side and we're gonna make a 45 degree angle cut. So for that, I am going to be moving my blade table to the 45 degree angle. That is on the 22.5 angle, that's on the 30 all the way to the left is going to be the 45 degree. Again, I'm clamping it down just so I don't have to put my fingers anywhere or my hand anywhere. And then putting it down. This is the 45 degree angle. So here you go, 45 degree angle. Okay, the last cut that we are going to try is the beveled cut. And that will require for the blade head to tilt left to right to make that beveled cut. So I'm gonna move it, move it back to just a straight cut. And to make this bevel cut, we are going to have to turn the lever that is on the back of this tool. So to make this bevel cut, we are going to be turning or changing the angle of this. So you loosen it up and then you choose left. Right now it's a zero and that is basically straight and then you have all the different angles here, depending on the, um, the bevel that you want to make. There's 15, 30, or 45. So I am going to do it at 30. And then I will lock it in place. All right, that's pretty secure. Actually, I think I want let me unlock it. I want to do it at 15 instead. So just a slight bevel. Make sure it's completely locked. And now as you can see, the blade head is now slightly tilted to the left to make that bevel cut. So for this bevel cut, I am going to use this. Okay. 
I'm going to clamp it. And now it's going to cut sideways. All right, so as you can see, it's slightly slanted. It's not completely straight. Oh, that broke. Oh no. So it has a slight 15 degree bevel on this side. So that is it guys. Those are all the different cuts that this tool makes. Um, whether it's cross cut, angle cut, or beveled cut, I know I am definitely going to love this mighty tool. And I cannot wait to start using it in home projects. Just keep in mind that when you are using power tools, always take extra precautions and always be safe. I hope you guys found this video helpful. As I said, it's a beginner's guide, but any power tools that you buy, I recommend always read the user's manual. I may not have covered all of the basic functions and safety features of this tool, so please, 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 make sure you read your user's manual before using any power tools. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this type of content, please like and subscribe. And until then, I will see you on my next one. Bye guys.